Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV here, and let me tell you, we are having some major wind gusts right now, so I'm going to take a break from doing some work here. Uh, I actually uh, want to look at this frame. I had a customer asking about the TCMM Crow 150, and there seems to be some discrepancy online. I don't think the information online is right, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. So let's just get to it. Uh, here you go. Let's do that right there. Okay, so this is the TCMM Crow 150. I'm going to open it up and take some measurements and compare it to what's been published online. I may actually just assemble this real quickly, so let's just do that. And this one will be for sale though, because I don't have many of these left, I don't think. So even if I assemble it, it's going to be sold as a new price. So don't ask me to discount it, please. But at least this way you'll get an idea of what it is. First of all, let's be let's get the motor part straight online, and I'm going to edit this. Uh, our the motors here are going to be 12, and I would say 16 max. 12 to 16 which means it's going to fit a 15xx 14xx motor i think on the side it's actually actually listed up to like a uh, uh 19 which would be a 22xx motor and that's not right so this is going to be a 15 so again what we're going to do is we're going to measure from the center and i'm eyeballing it here uh so we've got 16 which is eight millimeters to here so 16 millimeters uh, uh sorry I'm, i apologize it's 12 millimeters here and it's gonna be from end to end here would be 16. So you've got 12 and 16. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna pull that up here on the site real quick, uh, just because I wanna correct this. So let me just go here and let me just type in the word crow. And unfortunately, sometimes we'll take the specs from the company and we should have corrected this one. So these motors are gonna be 16, it's not 16 and 19, it's gonna be M2, not M3. Uh, and these are gonna be 12 by 12 and M2, 16, by 16. I'm not really sure where that came from, so let me save that first. All right, and I know you guys probably don't need to see me doing this part, but uh, I want to make sure I get this done right. So let me just do this real quickly, please, if you don't mind. Uh, and this way we can make sure everything's right. All right, so the next thing it says, and I want to now verify everything on here. Uh, let's see, it says it takes 30 by 30 and 20 by 20. So let's verify what we got here. We do have 30, and when we say 30 by 30, we know we mean 30.5 by 30.5. I'm not gonna play on the little numbers there. So this is 20 by 20, this is 30 by 30, so that is correct. Um, and it says camera hole position is M3 by 28 by 28. Uh, okay, so that's not gonna be right, I don't think. Just by looking at this, it doesn't look right. So let's go ahead and just see what we got here, okay? Actually, um, a pretty cool little frame. So what we know is that these are gonna go here, these are gonna go here, Right, that should be about right, I think. I think that's the right way to do it. All right, and I assume, let me see, I don't even know what this frame looks like when it's done, but I'm gonna assume that this is going to go, you would think this would slide inside, oh, I guess it does, let me see. Let's see if this makes it inside here, yeah, it does. So this is gonna go like this, it's gonna go back and snap right in there. So that might be the right camera size then, from what it's saying. Um, and then let's see, what would they want? Well, uh, I would assume here. Let me see. Let me look at something here. So then that's going to sit on top. I see, so they, they basically double stack this. So then this is gonna come inside here, and this is gonna come inside here, just like that. Okay, and then this is gonna go in the middle. Okay, uh, so let's see what we have with the camera. Oh, that is a big camera with actually, though, that is right. Um, so this is going to take a, yeah, about, I'll take an inside measurement here just so we can do that. So it says 28. I'm not sure that I can get 28 out of this, but it's gonna be very, no, no, that's about, about right. 27, 28. Um, if I just measure the inside here, uh, you can see right here that 28 would be over here, and this is not reaching that far, so I'm gonna change the measurement and say 27. So I believe that that's gonna give you 27. You're gonna have between 27 and 28, I'll give you that much. Uh, as far as height-wise, uh, the inside height in here to work with is about 30 two millimeters okay so on the camera itself uh let me see if i would agree with that 28 by 28 i don't know about all that but i'm gonna say uh and it does say it's m3 and these are m3 uh and the motor holes are not though the motor holes let me see how good an m3 that's not going to happen but the rest of this is so and the camera is also an m3 for the slot um 
So that's that. So I would tell you that uh, I will keep that as an M3 there. The flight controller options is M3 on the 30 and M2 on the 20, that's right. Uh, top plate thickness, so let's check this out. Top plate, I could have calipers, but we'll just do it this way. It is two mil, that looks right. Bottom plate is four mil. Uh, yeah, that looks right. And side camera thickness, it says one and a half, but that's not right. So the side is actually two mil as well. Um, let me just line this up. Yeah, so the sides are two mil, not one and a half. And then this one is gonna be like another, uh, it's about three and a half probably, but that's not what we're talking about. So the top plate and the side plates are actually the same thickness. I'm not sure why they said one and a half, but looking at this here, I'm at two mil all the way around. So I'm gonna correct that. Instead of saying one and a half, it's gonna say two mil. And that is, uh, so these motor options will be a, uh, let's see, a 14XX uh, slash 15XX motors. And I update on the side in case anybody has any questions about that. All right. So there's that, that is done. All right, so that pretty much does it, guys. So um, it looks like a pretty sturdy frame. I was gonna build it, but I really don't, I don't really need to put it together right now. Um, but you know what, maybe we'll do it anyway. Screw it, why not? Okay, so let's go ahead and get everything out. I don't usually use these, so I'm not gonna mess with that, and that's gonna be that LiPo uh, stuff, uh, standard things, it does come with these. Where are, okay, so here's the hardware. So let's just knock it out real quickly, why not? All right, so first things first, let's see how we're gonna fit these. This looks good here. This does look good here. I'm gonna leave these loose for right now so that I can slide this on here. It's got a snap into this right here. There's one, there's two. That's good, and let's see our standoffs. I believe it's gonna be these ones here it is so let's go ahead and get our screws see if they give us different length screws here they do so you'll have your bottom set and your top set so let me just make sure we have these separated these look like eight mil for the bottom set which will go through the four mil and these look like six mil for the top set so we'll have one two three four uh, so let's start with the top set real quickly put this in and let's see if this is gonna Go without issue. One. Next one here. Looks like a pretty sturdy frame, actually. Once it's going to be put together, it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like it'll be pretty strong, at least. Uh, I could see this fitting uh, uh, HD unit if it needed to. Let's put another one here. wind is killing it out there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start fastening that to the bottom, so I'm gonna use the longer screws there. Do the other side. Okay. One take 
one of our spacers to put it here. Uh, but you know what? I probably need to put this in ahead of time, so let me do that first too. Just one side. Let me put this in here. Now I can go either one, it looks like. Uh, I would assume it's going to go on the top one, so that's where I'm going to put it for right now. If you needed to use this, if not, your camera may just sit right on top of it without this piece. Okay, and then you can run a lipo strap through the bottom one, actually. Let's go ahead and just back that up a little bit. There we go. And we'll use one of the longer screws here. Okay. Take this one and use the other set of longer screws here. And then they give you some extra screws, which, uh, let me see, we've got them. Oh, I guess we could put, is that where this is going to go? That's going to go right here, which I didn't screw that in first. I probably should have. So let me go ahead and see if I can do that. Well, this would be interesting. Should have put this spacer in first, but I didn't. So let me see if I can just get it to kind of use my tweezers to hopefully line this up. This is going to be a tough one. Be interesting. Hopefully, I get it. Okay. Well, this is what happens when you rush it. So, let me just do it this way. See if I can get this off. I need to get just a little bit of movement here so I can fit in this, this gap, which is going to drive me absolutely nuts. It hates me. Okay, fine. Fine. I mean, things are blowing around all over this building, knocking the crap out of everything. It's going to be interesting to see what the damage is like afterwards. Okay, so let's get these screws out real quick. Let's see if I can maybe get this in a different way, because it doesn't look like it's easy to get in either way, to be honest with you. sit it in there ahead of time like that maybe okay that might work yes victory so remember <laughs> do as I say not as I do because if I had paid attention to that, I wouldn't have had to have taken it apart. So that one will go in first, just like that. Because it's pretty stable, at least. I mean, things seem very strong. Let's go ahead and fasten that one down first. And then we'll put the other pieces in.
Okay, so outside of these additionals, uh, two of each side additional, there's your frame right there. Built pretty good, looks pretty good. Um, and that does come with these pads. And so what they, what they basically have you do is, and they expect it to kind of go like this. And then what will happen is these feet will go on the bottom. Like that. Like that, okay. Then they got your non-slip pad. Now the weird part about this is it looks like it was cut to fit right here. So they're they're telling you to put the pad, which I don't understand because usually we put the pad right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and still put it here knowing that this is most likely the better way to do it. I'm not really sure why it was cut that way, but we're gonna do it like this. And maybe it was intended for here and they just cut it weird. Anyways, this will go like this. Then this would go underneath. Your battery would go in between. And then what you do is you basically I have a lipo here I can guess I can show you guys so let me just run it through right now this is a big lipo so that's gonna be yeah it's too big let me find something smaller let's take something like this in here get your lipo on there then you will put I don't know if they want you to go in through here and out the other side or not but you would basically go like this And like this and then oops but that's upside down sorry like this and like this Get your battery put this plate over it wrap it through like that. And you can tighten it down. Now, you can also run the strap so you don't lose it. You could easily just take this as well, take this piece off. And start it like this. That way, let me make sure I don't put this upside down. Start it like this. Then run it through. This way the piece can never fall off of the battery strap. It will always be attached. Run it through. Just like that. Put your lipo on. This will slide over. Pull it as tight as you can. Let's get this to kind of crank down a little bit more. Kind of like that there. Things up. Tighten it down like that. And there you have your battery. Okay, it's pretty good because it'll protect the bottom. Battery's in there really solid. Um, it won't fold over like this because you'll have your flight controller and stuff in there. But there you go. So that's basically the frame. Sorry, it's a little interesting. I don't usually use these at all, but um, for those of you that want to protect the bottom and not worried about the weight, this is a great way to do that. And that's it right there. So there you go. That's your um, that's your Crow 150. We only have a handful of these left, by the way. So let me just... Uh, let me just show you this on the screen. So there you go, that's the frame right there. All right, and then um, if you wait one second, I'll get a, let me see if I can get this. It's a smaller scale that we use for much smaller ways, but let me just see if I take my LiPo out. Let's do this. Let's get this on. Uh, with the strap and everything, you got about 70, 75 grams, I guess, okay? Uh, with the plate on the bottom and everything. So that's it. Pretty good. Pretty good. There you go right there. We got about seven or eight of these left in stock if anybody's interested. I hope that answers your questions, guys. Sorry I didn't have more information on that, but we're going to update the website for it. If you have any questions, uh, always uh, you can post them here on uh, our YouTube page or come on over to our Facebook page or just head on over to our website, okay? Other than that, please subscribe to our page. God bless, be safe, and most of all, go spend time with your family, guys. I get to see my boys today. It is Thursday, which means I'm going to get out of here early because they get home at 4 o'clock, and that's it for me for the day. Talk to you guys later. God bless, and we'll see you soon. Peace.